guys. So we're over here to pick up the transmission. Ooh, lightning quick glides. Now this is what I call delivery with a smile. Gazine, <laughs> sir, good morning. Okay, Appreciate yeah. you meeting us out here. Oh yeah. Man, I like the truck. This thing's pretty sweet. What's up guys welcome back to the youtube channel we made it we're out here in texas we're in the long star state texas motorplex wow man look at this this is this is actually a very 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 nice facility we're out here looking at the track you can see it rained all day yesterday got my buddies here with us randy donald courtney and brandon back there kelly is here too she's going to uh, make a, a store run but the track is just freaking phenomenal. It's super flat. Look how flat it is and wide, real big. So we're at Locals Only. We got invited to the Invitational Race this weekend. And so we're gonna be hitting it up, hopefully going some rounds. Today we should get at least one test pass, maybe two. We gotta decide if we wanna get into the actual small tire race or not. That's what they did for us last time. So we're just coming out here. Now it's been pouring down rain and the track is already it's already dry and i mean it's really cold it's like 52 54 degrees uh really windy uh but the track is not holding any water at all uh this surface man check it out guys if y'all want to support the channel head on over to turbojohnracing.com grab yourself some hats and t-shirts check it out i appreciate it guys i don't know if they dragged it they may have already dragged this thing this morning to get the to get the water off but this is a superb base Somebody did some tire shaking action here. Very good base of rubber. If this rubber stays stuck to the concrete, that's really cold. But if the rubber stays stuck to the concrete and doesn't peel up, this will be a very fast track strip. I didn't even realize it was a quarter mile track. Shoot, man. Digging it, digging it, digging it. Uh, we're tired. We, uh, we drove for 21 hours, uh, 24 hours for y'all almost. <laughs> Randy and uh, Randy, Courtney, and Donald, they come all the way from Wilmington, so they had an extra couple hours on me. So uh, everybody's super tired, though. although I'm pretty refreshed. Although I had a dream last night that I missed uh, getting signed up, and we weren't able to race. I woke up, I woke up madder and I'll get out. I dreamed we, we drove all this way, and I didn't get to race. So <laughs> hopefully that's not a sign of anything. But this is going to be awesome. cold
so we're out here. We just done our spool test. Things spooled up phenomenal, uh, but we found a problem. Uh, Courtney found a problem. I didn't find a problem. I hadn't looked at it. Sean was about to go into a race. But I don't know uh, when it happened, but it is completely broke. Like, completely. Oh, wow. Like, completely broke. So now we, what we got to do is we got to take this off real fast, take the throttle body off. JB welded. <laughs> yeah, JB welded. Duct tape it. Something. And then we got to find somebody that's got a welder so we can weld this back on. Uh, worst case scenario, if somebody does not have this, we'll get two clamps. We'll grind it all down, and then we'll put rubber clamps on it. So, But we're going to try to find somebody that's got a welder. Wow. Wow. Good catch, Courtney. Yeah, good job. All right, guys. So luckily, this thing's easy to work on. Um, that pipe's off. It is not broke all the way through. So we're gonna leave it right there. All we gotta do is take the throttle body off. Uh, it's just got four bolts in it, and then we'll weld this back up. All right, guys, cars are showing up. Uh, we are almost ready to go up for tech. Uh, Jeff Lux, they're welding up our throttle body that broke. So we're going to ride up there now. We got to go to tech. So we're going to go grab the throttle body and then get tech in real fast. And then we'll come put this thing on. Should be good to go. Here we go, guys. All right, guys, they hooked it up. We are now back on the road. He said my welding was subpar. I appreciate it, no, man. It. <laughs> material. <laughs> the material. Is he the said no re uh, he understands why it broke is because I welded it. But he's got it back. It's going to last this weekend. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, Take care. See y'all. Yeah. Good luck. So, I just got word that we have 16 cars in locals only. So, this is going to be awesome. Lots of good people, lots of people that are being fast. Here goes uh, some of the the group now. Uh what Brandon Mork, 24-7, and Ashley, doing? how are you, sir? Good seeing you. You too. I, I hope y'all are going to pass tech. Yeah. Oh, I mean, <laughs> coyote is past tech. I used to be a coyote hater, but I, I started to kind of change yeah, a little I bit. Know. I'm getting jealous how fast they How are you? Good seeing you. Ben. It's all running really good. I'm not going to lie. I've been kind of thinking about possibly doing a coyote motor. Cool. I had no idea that they could be so. Yeah, I mean, if we could get like a thousand miles out of the car. Right. You know, it's, it's, with her is it really that heavy? Yeah, oh my God. Is 4, that is insane. Because everything's just added to right. it. Right, that's right. Air and water. And God, it age. sounds good, doesn't it? It does sound good. I keep trying to get her to sell it to get more of like a true street race car, but she loves right. it. Well, and that's the, the, the whole problem is, is the small tire cars are now racing that type of car. I, I mean, you know, and it's just one of those things it's hard to and i don't think small tire rules are really going to change as bad as people want them to but they need to really limit true street right to make keep it from getting ruined because that's what's going to happen and all the all the non-competitive small tires that's are going to i think that needs to happen you know i think yeah. that, i think true street needs to really tighten up right it's going to be interesting well y'all go check them out y'all yeah. how long of a ride was it for y'all uh 15 hours god y'all got here faster than us she wouldn't let it go she made me come like, <laughs> where does it take a knife to a gun for right at least you can hey. negotiate <laughs> once in a lifetime right yeah. i mean that's uh, good she's having Y'all go check them out, 24-7 Motorsports. We'll see y'all. Good luck. All right, guys, so we're going to throw this thing back together real fast, uh, real quick in a hurry. A little bit of silicone never hurts anybody. So we put a little bit of silicone on this thing, uh, get it so that it seals up nice and tight. A lot of people will use gaskets on this, but gaskets are optional, optional. So we're going to use a dab of silicone. Courtney's not going to put the whole tube of silicone on it, but he's going to put a dab of silicone on it. Um, as I say that, look at the silicone coming out of that gas <laughs> that I did. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, here we go. So, uh, this thing should go back together. Uh, shout out to Jeff Lutz and his team. Uh, they welded that thing up for us. Uh, we have a welder. Where's it at, Rick? Uh, it's, it's, it's at the house. <laughs> I have a TIG welder at home that is going to find out how to get in that trailer somewhere. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's put it together real fast. What do you think? Let's put it
so we're not the only ones having trouble uh this cat right here is from way up north and they were coming up and his car rubbed on the sidewall of the slick rubbed a hole in the dog on tire let's go over here and see what we got Ryan Mitchell in the house. What's up, guys? Hello, hello. How are y'all? Good. I was just deciding whether or not to bring the challenge coin with me today, too. I've got it sitting in the friggin' hotel. Oh, uh, well, I've lost all of mine, and we have no more. <laughs> we gotta get some more made. I, think I, know, I know, right? I love it. I need to get some more made. That thing sounds freaking gangster. It's loud. It is loud. Hey, what is up? How are you? Do you wear hearing aid? I mean, hearing protection while yeah, you're in there? A helmet? Yeah, I, I keep it like Look, he's, he's got a whole yeah, bunch of them. <laughs> that is freaking. I can't imagine on the inside of the car how loud it is. I haven't been inside the car. When right are you yet. driving it? Huh? When are you driving it? Uh, <laughs> Next year? Oh boy. No. Megan looks no. like she's not real happy about no. that decision. Uh, we, we <laughs> Right. I can't touch the brake, or definitely not the gas. Right. Brake. I mean, <laughs> well, I'm sure y'all can modify it to right. make you fit. We'll just keep my car. We'll just keep it. Put a pro charger on yours. He's actually he's talking about it. That wouldn't be bad. No, so, I mean, I wouldn't be good if I didn't get to stop messing with mine tonight. You know. Get some seat time. Yeah. Right. There you go. Stop switching Well, y'all go check him out. What's y'all's YouTube channel? Uh, Casey Max the Firebird. KC Max the Firebird, legendary. Now he's got, uh, he's still got a big block with a big blower on it. Ryan, are you in locals only? No. Thank God. No. <laughs> Heck yes. No, we we were really trying to get in for the Tulsa one. Right. But since we're staying away, we didn't get it. All right. But next year. We're going to have Flying Ace Drag Strip open. Oh, so boy. We'll have a local track 25 minutes away, and we'll be pushing that locals only thing. Nice. And what I've heard is MPK is supposed to be there maybe twice Oh, next man, year. that's awesome. So this is supposed to be a really nice facility. Awesome. And, it, and we've seen it, and it's very nice. Man, well, good seeing you. Be, be careful. Good luck. Thank you. Y'all got some bears out here, but you are one.